Dirty Dozen Type 1, problem sequences. This would be like groups of numbers in a row, or, um, you know, if I have 2, 4, 6, 8, that's a sequence, because the next one in sequence is going to be 10, because it goes up by 2. But if I have 2, 4, 8, this is a geometric sequence. So it goes 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so you do 8 times 2 is 16. So you sort of bring out what's happening. This is plus 2. This is plus 2. This is plus 2. So you figure out what the difference is. This isn't plus 2, it's times 2. So is this. That's how you figure out what comes next. Now, there's another type of sequence we need to talk about, which is called the Fibonacci sequence. We haven't talked about that before. All it means is that you look at the numbers in order, and you put them together in a way that helps them move forward. This is the beginning. If you try to subtract, this will go up by 1, and then it goes up by 1, but then it goes up by 2, and then by 3, and then by 5. It's, that doesn't work. Multiplying doesn't work either. 1 times 2 gives you 2, but 2 times 2 gives you 4, not 3. So you have to look at the numbers themselves. So I've got 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 5 plus 3 equals 8. 8 plus 5 equals 13. That's our sequence. Now, that's called the Fibonacci sequence. So those are the types you have to worry about. You're either adding, uh, multiplying, or um, you're doing this type where it goes up. The numbers actually work together in some way to get you to the next step. Uh, let's do a couple. Number 14. This is one type. This is actually a function table, but it's still the same thing. Remember, all you do here is here are your n values, and here are your answers. So you're just going to start at the beginning at the 3n plus 1, and I'm going to plug in 1 where the n is supposed to be. And I get 4. So I'm going to make sure 3 of them work. So I do 3 times 2 plus 1 gives me 7. It says it's supposed to give me 11, so this is not the right answer. Uh, 2... doesn't work even from the start, so that's out. Uh, number 3, 6 parentheses 1 minus 1, does not work either. It's supposed to give me 4, but it gives me 5. And the last one, uh, plug in 1 for 7, or 1 for n, I'm sorry, and I do get 4. So let's try the next one. That gives me 11. That's looking good. I'm going to try one more just to make sure, because I'm the careful type. There it is. Works perfect. All you do is plug in those values into where n is located. Make sure you put a parentheses around it. Look for the one that gives you the right answers. Uh, the next type, 37. This is a more, uh, I guess in a way it's a bit more advanced. It's a way of looking at how she puts money in. But these are the sequences. In year one, it's this. In year two, it's this. In year three, it's this. Now, down at the bottom, it's exactly the same thing. It's just written in a different way. Here's your n value, n minus 1, n plus 1. These are exactly the same except for this one. But you'll notice that this has this times 1.5 thing in it, so a has to be out. So we're going to skip 1 because it doesn't have anything, and then we're going to think about what exponent is supposed to be here, 1, right? So if the n is 2, if I plug this in, 2 minus 1, well that gives me 1, that's looking pretty good. So 2 minus 1 is 1, and that's what I'm supposed to have. But what if I try 3? 3 minus, or so I plug in here to n minus 1, so when I have 3, I do 3 minus 1, and that gives me 2, and that's what it's supposed to be. So this is looking pretty good. So I'm going to say it's this one. Just to check, this is n is 2, but here it's supposed to be 1. Here it's 2, but it's supposed to be 3 if this one matches up. So this one's out. And this one's definitely wrong, because 4 plus 1 is 5, but this says it's 3. So sometimes the sequences aren't really complicated. They just look like they are. And the last sequence type is this one. All you have to do when you have these is figure out how far apart they are. So just subtract. 1.34 minus 1.17 gives me 17 cents.
This one's 17 cents too. Always try to do three of them just to make sure. But usually if you find, if you have this long string, the, seed, the differences are going to be different. So it's going up by 17 cents every time. Now, it stops at 10, so I need to see what it is to get up to 13. I'm going to bring this down below and extend the pattern. The reason I write them out as opposed to just jamming them into the calculator so I don't make mistakes. So in this situation, I'm going to do 2.70 plus 0.17, or 17 cents, $2.87. Then I'm going to add 17 more, $3.04. And finally, I'm going to add 17 more, $3.21. Now, if you look, 287 is in there. So if you mess this up, you get it wrong. So you have to be careful that you go to what they tell you to. If you go one more like you usually do, you'd get it wrong. So be very careful. Now the problem I would like you to do is right here, number 18. A sequence is created from the function 1 half n plus 6, where n represents the position in sequence. The sequence does not represent, uh, does not begin at zero. So here's the sequence. It's one half n plus six. And I'll bring that down just a little bit. That's the sequence right there. So the sequence doesn't begin at zero. Uh, you've got about a minute and a half to figure out what the first five terms in sequence are if it does not start at zero.